Ladies and gentlemen. Glasgow's coat of arms. For this project, you'll need photos, safari, and Autodesk sketchbook. Using Safari, research the Glasgow coat of arms and find out the story behind it. Here's some information. What else did you find out? Today we're going to be using this template of the coat of arms to design our own. Here are some examples. To begin, save the template somewhere on your iPad. Share it from there into the Autodesk Sketchbook app. Use Safari to search and save images that represent what Glasgow means to you. Back in Autodesk Sketchbook, move the top layer underneath your template by dragging it. Select the photo icon from the top toolbar and then choose your first Glasgow image. Using a pinched finger, resize it to cover the area of the badge, highlighted here in yellow. Now tap on the photo layer and toggle down the opacity to about 50%. Go back to your top layer with the template, use the select tool and the magic wand from the toolbar. Make sure the option to add additional sections is added by toggling the add button. Select the area behind the fish in the tree and then make sure to select the other smaller areas such as inside the ring and the smaller sections in the branches of the tree and around the robin. Then with these areas still selected, change your layer to the picture layer. Select copy, add a new layer, and then select paste. You can now delete the original picture layer. Well done, that's now the first area of your badge designed. You can double check it's worked by hiding the template. Now select your second picture. Move this to sit under the fish on the left hand side. Repeat the same process of dialing down the opacity on this second picture layer. Add a new layer above and then select the template layer at the top. Using the select tool, select the areas of the fish, including all the fins and the tail. Ladies and gentlemen. Go back to the second picture layer, tap copy, and then paste it into the new layer above. As before, you can now delete your picture layer. Tap on your fish and select duplicate. You now have two. Go up to the move tool at the top and select the flip horizontal option. You will just need to move the design a little over to fit in the template, but by using this option, it gives you a nice, balanced, symmetrical design. You're now going to repeat this for all the other outlined parts of the template using the different images that you had saved. To ensure the motto stands out, go back up to the template at the top and select a colour of your choice. Then using the bucket tool, 
drop it in to each of the letters along the bottom banner. Using the dropper tool from the colour palette, select some of the different colours from your design. Select the bottom layer which will become our background colour. Using the bucket tool from the top toolbar, select the third option which is the central gradient and drop that into the background. Move the black and grey toggles to get the gradient you wish. Edit these default colours to the colours you previously chose using the dropper tool. If you don't like the background you've created, remember you can just delete it and make a new one without affecting any of the rest of your design. To export your finished design, tap the box at the top left and then select Save Image.